Hi there, today I'm going to create a video to clear out fear and worry and them unsafe feelings. So if you're feeling any of that and you're experiencing it in your world, I'll be back in a moment. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Pam Wright. I'm a stress specialist and a happiness facilitator. I help people to stress less, smile more, and to get their happy back. I create weekly videos to assist people to release their unresolved emotions, the physical sensations, their traumas, whatever it is that they're struggling with, so that you can open up to the possibility. Radiant health, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, please give it a like. You may want to make a comment or even subscribe to the channel. All of that helps other people that are looking for assistance to find the videos. These videos are designed for you to take the time to get in touch with whatever it is that is unresolved and to clear it. I highly recommend that you put a minimum of 20 minutes aside. Grab yourself a pen and paper. Write down what it is that's bothering you. If you've come across a specific video, you've come across it for a reason. So write down all the reasons that it bothers you and then you tap along with the video and you clear it. There is no sense watching these videos and not tapping along, not resolving what it is that it triggers within your body. So please take the time, write it down and use the video. If you get to the end of the video and it's not quite clear, just listen to the video through again. That's specifically what these videos are designed for. Let's get started. Welcome back. And in today's video, as I mentioned, we are going to be working on fear and worry and how to release that from our body. So I want you to take the time and I want you to get in touch so that means you think about what it is you're fearful of, what it is you're worried about, what makes you feel unsafe. And then we're going to be using the tapping to release and to let it go. So notice all the ways, notice the physical sensations, notice the images, notice the sounds, whatever it is for you, where you feel this fear, this worry, this anxiety, the uncertainty, the doubt, whatever it is. And then we use the tapping points and we're going to let it go. Releasing and letting go. All the fear, all the sadness, all the emotional trauma. Releasing and letting go. All the angers, all the resentments, all the guilt. Releasing and letting go all the judgment, all the abandonment, all the betrayals, the rejections. Releasing and letting it go. I am safe as I let this go. Even though sometimes I don't feel safe, I'm choosing to feel safe to let it go. Excellent. Grab the wrist. Take a nice deep belly breath. And peace. Fantastic. Find that peace. You may want to, while you're holding your wrist, you take yourself to a peaceful place. Wherever it is that you feel peaceful. And then when you feel that peace in your body, you keep tapping. And if you need to turn off the video, that's okay. If you need to do jump and jack, sing your favorite song, whatever it is. Excellent. 
So now I want you to check back in again. So you check inside. You find that worry, the fearful, the uncertain, something bad's going to happen if I don't protect myself. Releasing and letting go, all the stress, all the worry. I have to protect myself. All the things that I imagine could go wrong. I have to do that to protect myself. All the anxious, the worried, the scared, I'm letting it go. The uncertainty, the doubt, the self-doubt. Releasing and letting go. Release, the birds are going to town out there. I love my birdies. Releasing and letting go. All the ways this upsets me. The anxious, the worried, the fearful. Who would I be if I let that go? Releasing and letting go. Grab the wrist. Long, deep breath in. Ah, you can even sigh it out. And find that peace. Take yourself to that peaceful place. Excellent. Now we go back in. You notice the stress, the worry, the fearful. Got it? This part of me... The protector, the controller, the gatekeeper that is doing such a brilliant job of keeping me safe. Always worried, always anxious, always fearful. Working out what bad thing might happen. This part of me that has created a safety mechanism to keep me safe. Sometimes many, many years ago. But now this safety mechanism might be blocking some of your satisfaction in life. And maybe it's time for an upgrade. It's no longer working. And you're not that young person anymore. Maybe, just maybe, it's time for an upgrade. Releasing and letting go. Grab the wrist. And pace. Perfect. Find that peaceful feeling. Remember, if you're not there, just turn the video off until you find that peaceful feeling. Okay, now you, let's go back and find that anxious, worried, fearful. That part of you that is so scared. That if they're not, if, if that part's not on high alert, something bad might happen. Releasing and letting go. All the worried, all the anxious, all the fearful. That high alert, I've got to be on a high alert so I can protect myself from anything bad that might happen. All the scenarios, the situations that I think about just in case. Wanting to keep myself safe. But it really is blocking my satisfaction of life. Maybe it's time for an upgrade. I'm not that younger person anymore. I have more skills, more resources. I have tapping. I have havening. And there's so many other ways that we can keep ourselves safe now. I think it's time for an upgrade. This outdated safety mechanism. Okay, grab the wrist. And peace. Okay, I just want to share with you now, many of you may have heard 
of the metaphor of the iceberg that represents the iceberg above the water is the conscious mind and the iceberg below the water is the unconscious mind. But I've got a little bit different of a metaphor that I find much more interesting. What if the unconscious mind is the elephant? And the elephant is the one that has all of the information, everything you've ever seen, experienced, heard, um, felt, is all held in the unconscious, the elephant. And the conscious mind, what we're consciously aware of, is a flea riding on the elephant's back. And the flea thinks it's in control. But it's the elephant that's in control. And if the elephant has experienced something in the past that it, where it felt unsafe, it will do everything in its power to stop you from experiencing that again. But it doesn't often work. <laughs> and quite often it's blocking your satisfaction of life. It may have worked at the time when the elephant programmed it in, but it's no longer working. And why do I know that? Because you're listening to this video. And you're constantly in fear and worry and self-doubt and uncertainty. Because the conscious mind says, I want to do this. But then you end up doing something over here. Because the elephant's like, no, you're not going to do this. <laughs> That's not safe. So it's time for an upgrade. Releasing and letting go. This part of me that just wants to keep me safe. This part of me that created this safety mechanism. Trying to keep me safe. But now it is blocking my satisfaction of life. And I think it's time for an upgrade. It did a really good job. And we don't have to get rid of it at all. Because there'll be times where I need that safety mechanism. But I also need an upgrade. It's no longer working as effectively as it used to. Just like our phones and our computers, when we need to upgrade them, put in a new system that operates more effectively. That's right. And that's the best way to do it. Sitting where you're sitting, listening to the sound of my voice, releasing and letting go. Nice, deep breath in. Excellent. Now we just get in touch with the remaining anxiety, fear, worry, uncertainty. And you can choose to let it go. Knowing that you're smart enough now, you know how to protect yourself. You've got this. And that younger part of you can rest and relax. That you've got this. You know how to look after yourself. You know how to keep yourself safe. You're learning more skills, more strategies, more techniques, all of them to help you to keep safe. Be prepared. Knowing that no matter what happens, that you can handle this. You've got this. And you let the rest go. It is safe to let it go. Grab the wrist. 
and paste. Perfect. Good job. So just checking, this is our last tapping round. Of course, you can watch it through again, but just checking what's left. When you think about worry, stress, fear, anxiety, all the ways you imagine what's going to go wrong, trying to keep yourself safe. Got it? Releasing and letting go. All the worry, all the fear, that dread. It could be images. So you notice the image. It could be an old memory. I'm letting that go. All the colour draining out. All the movement freezing. It's time to let it go. Releasing and letting go. All the sounds. Might have been things you heard. I'm letting it go. There is only two fears that, that are innate within us. The fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. The rest are all learned and experienced. Releasing and letting go. I've got this. I know how to handle it now. Thank you so much for keeping me safe. But you can go off and play now. I'm okay. I've got this. That's right. That's the best way to do it. Good job. Grab the wrist. And peace. Excellent. Find that piece. And if you've still got more fear and worry, just listen to it through again. Now we're going to start to do the havening. I like the havening. When we start to imagine that we're not that younger person anymore. That we have skills, talents, strategies, more resources and that no matter what happens, you can handle it now. You can keep yourself safe. You know now how to keep yourself safe. You can handle it. It's okay to relax. To feel calm. Peaceful. That's right. That's the perfect way to do it. You've got this. Even if you're doing it wrong, you're doing it right. And you start to relax. And feel calm. Secure. Safe. Peaceful. Ooh, ooh, there is a storm whipping up outside. But I am safe, I am calm, and I am peaceful. That's right. Notice where you feel that in your body. That calm, peaceful, relax. Certain. Confident, you're confident now that you've got this. That's right. That's the perfect way to do it. So as you're doing this physical havening, delta waves get sent to their amygdala, calming it down. Because it's the amygdala that hijacks our brain and switches on the fight, flight and freeze response within the body. But as we do the tapping and the havening, we're calming down the amygdala. We're relaxing it. 
we're putting ourselves back into the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest. Safe. Calm. Relaxed. Confident. Peaceful. No matter what happens, you can handle it. You have resources, skills, talents, techniques. You're so much older now. And you've learnt so much about keeping yourself safe but not by predicting it by making good decisions you're confident in the decisions you're making that's the perfect way to do it the other thing that happens when we do the havening because of the physical touch and remember we can do it and we can even do it on the face. It's almost like a heart. We can go round the eyes. Or you can rain full over the eyes. What's happening is we're getting all the serotonin, the endorphins, the dopamines and the oxytocin flowing through our system alleviating all the cortisol, all the adrenaline. That's right. And it's calming down the system so that we feel safe and calm and confident, peaceful, relaxed, knowing that you've got this. You can handle it. That's right. And that's the best way to do it. Excellent. We'll leave it there for today. If you want to keep watching the havening part, you can do that as well. Good job. Excellent. If you like the work, give it a like. If you, if you want to make a comment, please do. You may even want to subscribe to the channel as well so that every time I put out a video, you're notified. Thank you for watching. Keep tapping and keep safe.